Hey guys, well, guess what I'm fixing to do? Yep, it's that time I'm fixing to do a haul. I am trying to get this stuff out of the car because you know who will see it and we don't want that. That's not good. So I'm at the mall parking lot, my, my usual spot, and I thought I'd do some package hauls because it is so nice out today it, it really is nice today i don't even know what the temperature is but um it's there's a little breeze and i'm sitting by my spot at the mall by the tree so yeah i thought i'd do some package hauls today so i can get some of this out of here because i have a lot and I don't, I don't buy it all at one time. I don't want y'all to be like, oh my gosh, you buy a lot of stuff. No, I don't buy it all at one time. I, I every time I get a package, I put it in the back, and because I want to have a, I don't want to do just one package on video. Like I want to have a bunch of things for y'all to look at. So that's why I have a lot of stuff in here because I collect it all, and then I'll do one big you know, video, because I don't want to do just like a little, you know, two minute video. That's not fun. And yes, I'm wearing my new shirt. Bought this at the show. I, oh man, you guys, you need to go check out my video about me talking about the concert because it was so lit. That's, oh. I love me some Harry. I love... Y'all know. If y'all have known me since I was a teenager, y'all know. Y'all know I love Harry. I... Mm, I could sit here and talk all day about Harry Connick Jr. I mean... Uh, he, he really... He really is awesome. I mean very entertaining he's got great great stage presence like when he talks like he he he's not annoying his voice his speaking voice is not annoying i will tell you uh whose voice i could not stand in concert like her state like her stage presence was annoying i just wanted her to shut up and sing was shania twain like her concert was very entertaining both times, but but her stage pre like as far as talking to the audience, I just thought her voice, her speaking voice was annoying. It was just annoying. Like I just wanted her to sing, you know. So anyway, I'm doing an Amazon package haul today because I got some packages from Amazon that I want to share with you guys, and let me. I'm checking my time because I don't want to I don't want the video to cut off like the other day it cut off the other day because I had too many videos saved on my phone I don't know how long uh, my phone can record for I, I don't know I, I'm trying to figure out that because I don't I don't know my settings on my phone so I got this on Amazon I thought this looked really pretty. I hope this looks good. Yeah, I have a um, a lady parked right across from me. And she's been sitting here for like 20 minutes with her car running. So I don't know what she's doing, but I, at least I got my shady tree. She's not even sitting in the shade. I don't even care. Ooh, this is soft. And a lot of these clothes that I buy, I don't even know if they fit. I don't know what, you know, sizes to get. But this, this is really soft. I'm going to have to hand wash this, this shirt. So this is a pink leopard sweater. And uh, this looks nice. There's no tag on it. I don't know what's the front and what's the back. So that, look at it. It's pink and it's leopard. 
It's long sleeve. Oh, this is soft, you guys. And I and if you know me, I love leopard, and it's an extra large. But there's no tag, so I don't know what is the front and what is the back. And the wash, there's no. Great, there's no instructions on how to wash it. So I think with this this type of a sweater, I'm gonna hand wash it and hang dry it. So that that's gonna be real nice for the winter. You know, George, like I I buy all these nice things, but like it, it really doesn't get cold in Georgia till like like January. That's when it like really there's a fly in here. It really gets cold. So that's that. That'll be good. I wish they would have put some instructions on what the how to wash it, but that's okay. I'll just hand wash it. I got some other sweaters, fuzzy sweaters like this that I, I hand wash. So, oh my goodness, y'all! I got so much crap back back here. Woo! Okay, this is an Amazon thing. I got another winter sweater and I would really appreciate it if you guys would go click on my videos and give me some comments please go do that I really would love to know what y'all think about what I do because like I said like in one of my previous videos I used to, you know, just post concert videos on my YouTube, but then when the pandemic hit, I couldn't go to concerts, and I just started doing these package hauls and whatever, just for something to do, because I was bored, and I've just been doing it ever since, because people have been telling me they like my videos, so I'm just going to keep on doing it. Okay. This is a leopard sweater, and it's extra large, so it'll fit. Oh yeah, that's cute! And it's not black. This is cute. That'll be really nice to wear to church with some leggings. Yeah, it's getting busy now. It's like 11 o'clock. It's only 11 o'clock. It's not even lunchtime right now. So the mall is getting a little busy over here at the parking lot. So this will be nice for church. And you guys don't even know. My guest room is, oh my gosh. It, it literally, it's the room from hell. It really is. It's like, it's a hell hole in my guest room you have no idea like if somebody needed to come stay with us which nobody ever comes to stay with us anyway so i'm not worried about it but if anybody ever wanted to come stay at my house they wouldn't be able to like we literally don't have anywhere for anybody to sleep they would have to sleep on the the couch it's, it's, my guest room is off the chain. I can't even, we can't even move anything in our office. Our office used to be nice and clean, but since Eric's been working at home, like, it's, we can't even put anything in the office. It's that bad. It is that bad. I just need a new house. Like, we're running out of room everywhere. It's not just the guest room and the office. It's the kitchen drawers. It's just, it's we. It's time. We need a new home. So you guys be praying for Eric because he wants to build a house. He wants to buy some land and build build a house. So be praying that we can get that going sometime real soon here because we need to find some land so he can build us a house. Because we need one bad. We need a bigger house. Okay. 
This is from all these things that I'm opening on this video is from Amazon. But I saw this dress and I, I hope it looks good. I really hope it looks good. It's a leopard dress. It's a one piece. It's kind of like that dress I got from Old Navy in my previous video. I don't know, guys. Okay. Oh. Uh. Okay. It doesn't have buttons. It's a one piece. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna. I can't fit this. There's no way. It's an extra large. I'm gonna have to lose about 20 million pounds to put this on. So this will be a gold dress. So it's a leopard. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna, this. Yeah, this ain't gonna fit. I need to lose 10 million pounds. If I could just get like 15, 15 off to start off with, 10 to 15, like a chunk, then I could keep it going. So that's that. Hopefully, I got a a sheen video that I'm gonna be doing here shortly and I really hope those clothes fit because it's really frustrating when I order something like clothes and it doesn't fit and I don't want to send it back because it's more trouble so that's that okay I got a couple packages here I was going to save my CDs, but I'm going to go ahead and open them. I was going to do a CD haul with these, but I'm trying to get this stuff opened up and out of here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. It's from Amazon. Um, I need to be carrying some scissors with me. Okay, I don't know. I don't even remember what CDs I got, but... Man, this lady's been sitting in this car for a long time. She don't even have her windows down. She's got to be hot. So, I'm opening a CD from Amazon that I ordered from a used. So, I don't know. Years ago, when I went to a New Song concert, New Song, the Christian group, you know, they do these these concerts that... And they do concerts and whatever. And they had this girl, lady. It was like 20-something years ago. I'm talking like maybe 97, 1999, somewhere around there. Her name was Erin O'Donnell. And I, I had most of her CDs. Or actually, I didn't even have any of her CDs when I saw her. But I've seen her. I only saw her that one time with New Song years ago. But... Her music's really good, and the other night, I was going through my CDs, and I'm like, you know, I don't have all of her CDs, you know, all of her latest CDs, so I went online and got her Chris, I got her Christmas CD, so I bought, this was from 2004, it's Aaron O'Donnell, Christmas Time is Here. I had all this, all of her CDs except two of them, and so I didn't have her Christmas CD. This is what she looks like. I don't know if you can see it. So there, that's that. Oh, it's going to be, a, I'm trying to not be so messy back here, but. So that was that, and then. I got a CD right here. Let me see what, I don't know. Okay, here's the other one. Okay, that car finally left. I, I, that just drives me so nuts. Yep, there, bye, bye lady. Um. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. This is a used CD, but it's signed. I didn't really want a signed CD. It's, it says, it's autographed, it says Emily on it. Great, I got an autographed CD with somebody's name on it. Why would this person want to sell this? It's autographed. 
I wouldn't sell none of my autographs. Hopefully this will this ain't all scratched. It looks clean. So okay. Cause I bought I got this really cheap. Man, if I was selling an autographed CD, I wouldn't be selling it for no two or three dollars. I'd be selling it for expense. I would be up in that price. So I don't know. That's I don't know. Of. And then I got another CD here. Okay, I got this CD. I'm into like, right now, I'm in a phase right now. I'm in a phase, like a, a British pop music phase right now. So I got like the, not so much British, but just like the like European stuff, like European. This is a group called Boyzone. I think they're from Ireland. I don't think they're British. I think they're from Ireland. This is called, this is Boyzone. It's kind of beat up on the cover. Um, and, oh, it's three, three CDs. And this better not be scratched up because the, Okay. It's three CDs. I didn't know it was three CDs. Um, the reason why I got it is because there was a song on here. Uh, it's called No Matter What. I think it's No Matter What is the song that I, I liked. That's why I got it. And I got it cheap. And actually, I can't remember if I got this one on eBay. It was either eBay or Amazon. It was one of those. So, that's that. One, I got another CD here. I don't even remember what it is. But like I said, I'm trying to get all this out of here. Okay, this is, okay, so that Boyzone CD I got on Amazon. This is the, this is what I got on eBay. Uh, this is a group called Westlife, Greatest Hits, and um, I think they are, this is from 2011, I think they're from England. Boyzone's from Ireland, I believe. The reason why I got this CD is because I like the song Swear It Again and um, Flying Without Wings. Oh, it's got, um, it's got You Raise Me Up. That's what Josh Groban sings. So that's West Life. And it's really frustrating because I can't get CDs. But oh, you can get records. You can get records at Target. Target barely has any CDs anymore. I don't even bother with Target. I just start going online. I mi I really miss uh, having Lifeway here in town because I used to get all my Christian CDs at Lifeway and now I can't. All right, guys, I got one more thing, one final Amazon package, and I'm going to wrap it up. I got a box, just a little box here, because I got to get all this open, because I, I need to look to make sure I got everything and nothing's missing, so I need to get it all out. I've been going to some movies, and I'm going to be talking about that on another video. I'm going to be doing a mukbang. A mukbang. I got a mukbang idea in mind. So when I do that mukbang, I'm going to be talking about the movies that I just have recently seen. And I got my trusty box cutter. Um, I really feel like buying another one of these. 
Um, so I got this last package here. Man, it like this is such a beautiful day today. It really is a nice day today. I can't get over this. This I could sit if it's like this outside. I could I could sit in the car, no problems. Okay, I'm opening it up. Opening it up. All right. Oh, I got another sweater. And all this is from Amazon. Oh, this will be. Oh, this is this is cute. This is a uh, extra large. I just get extra large just in case because I know a. Oh yeah. Oh, look at it. That is cute. It's leopards on both sides. Look at that. And I, they had like black and different colors, but. I didn't want to get black. I wanted, I was trying to stay away from black. Oh, I love it. I definitely do not need any winter clothes. That is from Amazon. And man, I'll tell you what, Amazon and Sheen clothing. I can't even get this. I almost forget it. And, and then also, I got a purple sweater. It's a little different. This, oh wow, this feels heavy. Dang. Yeah, this is just a, oh, oh, oh wow, that is humongous, guys. Wow. And this is just leopard purple. This is gonna be so lit with my black leggings and my little boots. Look at that. I love that. Oh my gosh. I wish it was in like red. Like red red. This is not like the shade of red that I was hoping it would be. Okay, the final the final thing. This is it for today. Oh, this is so awesome. <gasps> Debbie Gibson, you guys. Finally, after years of not having anything, she finally put out a new CD. This just came out. And um, so and I had to order it. It's Debbie Gibson, the the body remembers. That's what it's called. Debbie Gibson. <gasps> and that's the back of it. I'll do a CD review on this. This has Let's see, one, three. It looks like 16, 15, 16 songs. And it's got a remake of her hit from 88, 89 on her Electric Youth CD. It's called um, Lost in Your Eyes, but she remade it with Joe McIntyre from New Kids on the Block and it's on here because they did that when I saw them two summers ago um 2019 on the New Kids on the Block uh mixtape tour they did that song and I got it on my YouTube so go watch that video Debbie Gibson and Joe McIntyre um yeah, oh, I can't wait. Because her last CD that she did was called Ms. Vocalist. Was the last, like, full album she did. And then the one before that, she did, like, a Broadway show tunes one. Oh, this, I can't wait. And, you know, I have been a fan of Debbie Gibson's since I was in sixth grade. And Tiffany. Tiffany and Debbie Gibson. It's like the, it's like Christina and, and the Britney, you know. Um, you know, for back in the 90s, it was Christina and Britney, you know. But Debbie Gibson and Tiffany were like my favorites. I don't know about nowadays. I don't know what, what the rival is now f for young girls. 
but it was Debbie Gibson and Tiffany, and then it was Christina Aguilera and Britney Spears for the 90s kids. But I was so, like, I, I never thought I would see either one in concert. And then New Kids on the Block had that tour, the mixtape tour, two summers ago, 2019. That was the best concert because they brought Salt and Pepper. I never thought I'd ever see them in concert. And uh, Naughty by Nature. And But Debbie Gibson and Tiffany, man. That was so exciting for me. Being a kid from the 80s. And they, they came and did that concert. I can now I can say yeah I saw Tiffany and Debbie Gibson salt and pepper and actually I saw salt and pepper before that they came to the Perry Fair what four summers four four years ago at the Perry Fair it was the I love the 90s concert and it was them and they they had SWV as a special guest uh, there was Vanilla Ice, Tone Loke, Young NC, All for One, and I think that was it. And that, I never thought I'd see any of those people before. And that was, that was at the Perry Fair. And I didn't even spend a lot of money for that one. And we were up front for the I Love the 90s. So guys, that was my Amazon package haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. Go watch my other stuff. Oh man, my lipstick's messed up. And yeah, so I'm going to get off of here. I don't know what I'm going to do the rest of the day. Um, I don't know. It's Wednesday. I might go play trivia tonight. I don't know. Eric's at home, so I'm definitely not going home just yet. Um, so yeah. Look for some more videos. I got some more videos planned. Um. So yeah, I think I'm going to get off of here. Um. If y'all have any ideas of like, I want to do some more mukbangs but i don't i'm running out of places to eat i'm sick of eating that's all eric wants to do is eat like he's always asking me what's what are we gonna eat what are we gonna eat I'm like dude i'm not even hungry he needs to go back seriously he needs to go back to work he missed him working at home has messed up my whole like eating routine Cause like when I'm, I'm not even hungry, he's hungry. And he's always asking me about food. Food, food, food. I need a break. Ugh. So I'm fixing to leave. I don't know where I'm gonna go, to, what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna figure it out. And, um, yeah, so I hope y'all enjoyed my Amazon video today. And just go hit the likes and tell me what y'all thought about it. Give me some ideas of some mukbangs, where to go eat. I want to try some new places in town. So if there's any, like, little hidden places that I don't know about in some of these shopping centers, let me know. There's a bakery in Centerville. In the shopping center that's by the um, firehouse. I don't know how that's going to work in that spot. Nobody ever goes over there. It's called Crave. So I'm going to try that one day. So anyway, I'm leaving. So 